The Google Assistant is a voice activated digital assistant created by the tech giant. This app is essentially Google's version of Apple's Siri or the Amazon's Alexa, just without a funny name. Hello all, this is Upasna from Edureka, and today I bring to you this technology behind your trusted Google Assistant. Wait till the end to see 10 really interesting things you could try on it. So this bot was unveiled in the May of 2016 and was originally only rolled out on Google Pixel phones, but now it is available on most Androids and iPhones running on the latest OS. You can just activate it by saying OK Google or Hey Google and then follow it with a command. But what makes Google's voice search so good? To perform its actions, Google Assistant heavily relies on artificial intelligence. It uses natural language processing and machine learning to understand what the user is saying and to make intelligent suggestions. Now it might come as a surprise to most of you that the working of the Google Assistant is actually inspired from a human brain. So when you talk, you essentially create a visual representation of your voice and a few other signals that vary from time to time. This is called a spectrogram. This spectrogram is split and sent to eight very powerful computers present with a collection of Google servers. It is then processed by an artificial neural network which works much like our brain. It can analyze vowels in consonants and make intelligent guesses. The same approach is actually applied for image analysis as well. From this step, it's pretty much like how basic Google search engine works. Now what might concern a lot of you is the possibility that your Google Assistant responds to someone else, but that's least likely to happen. Do you know why? When you make a voice profile by saying OK Google three times, it creates a key to compare the input to, and this is a very efficient system. Another question that might worry some of you is, is Google always listening? Well, the answer is yes and no. There are three states your microphone can be in for the OK Google detection. Most of the time when your screen is switched off, Google is not listening to anything at all. But then there is passive listening to see if there is a match for your OK Google training. Then it switches to the active listening to listen more carefully and accurately and take your dictation. This uploads to the server for analysis and that is when you receive from the server what it thinks you said. That active listening is way more intensive than the passive listening it does to detect your OK Google command. That is why you only train it to recognize two phrases, OK Google and Hey Google, and you're not reading multiple paragraphs to train it. The goal of Google Assistant, as Sundar Pichai previously said, is to build a personal Google for each and every user. The more you use it, the smarter your device gets. And what's more intriguing is it's specific to each device it caters to. This is called on-device machine learning. So now that you know how it works, make the most of your new assistant. The more you use it, the more you learn about it. So as I promised, here are 10 interesting ideas that you should try on your Google Assistant. Number 10, if you're anything like I am, you spend the last few minutes before leaving your house searching frantically for your things. But you can make Google do it for you. Okay, Google. Hazur, how may I help you? Remember I put my wallet in the top drawer? I'll remember that. Then you can ask Google to recall the things that you told it. You can say something in the lines of. Okay, Google. Hi. Where did I put my wallet? I remember you told me. I put my wallet in the top drawer. Or you could say, Tell me, what did I tell you about my wallet? I remember you told me. I put my wallet in the top drawer. Do you notice something interesting here? You don't have to repeat OK Google or Hey Google again and again. This is due to a new feature called the routine or continuous conversation. Number nine. You can get Google to check your unread text messages. If you want to reply to a message, you can just ask your assistant to do it for you. Read out my unread messages. You've got several unread text messages. Here are the five most recent. The first is from N. Do you want to hear it or skip it? Skip it. The next one is from Sarthak Kumar. Hear it or skip it? Hear it. 
It says, Hi, I'll be late for work today. Cheers. Do you want to reply? Repeat it or go on to the next one? Reply. Text Sarthak Kumar. Okay. What's the message? Okay. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. Number 8. You can add items to your grocery lists and set alarms. Set an alarm for 11.30 in the morning tomorrow. Setting your alarm. Number 7. The Google Assistant can help you search for pictures on your phone. OK, Google. Hi, how can I help? Show me photos from 23rd August. Here's what comes up in your Google Photos. Number 6. Now I know a lot of people wouldn't need this, but I personally have very small hands and can barely reach the camera while trying to smile. So like Mr. Pichai has said to the world, I make Google do it. OK, Google. Hello, G. What can I do for you? Take a selfie. Opening up. Say cheese. Number 5. If you like keeping your friends tuned in continuously, this tip can change your life. It's pretty simple actually. All you have to do is connect your Google Assistant and your Twitter account to the IFTTT recipe. Once you've done this, you can just tweet whenever by saying Tweet, I'm going away on a vacation. Going to tweet, I'm going away on a vacation. Number 4. Now this is an interesting one. Can you beatbox for me? Number 3. Google can connect to your smart devices. If you own a smart bulb or an AC, you can configure Google Assistant to work with it. Number 2. For all the Harry Potter fans out there, you can now give commands to your Google Assistants through spells. See how it turns the light on when you just say, OK Google. That's me. How can I help? Lumos. Did it just get brighter in here? It did. I think it did. To turn it off, you just need to say Nox. Hey, I promised interesting, not always useful. So before I declare the winner of this list, here are a few honorable mentions. These are features that aren't out yet, but will soon hit the markets. First up, we have Smart Compose. Now, meals are tedious but necessary. How great would it be if someone did it for you? Well, your assistant has you covered. The moment you type in the Gmail ID of a recipient, Google suggests drafts of the mail for you to compose. Next up, we have Google Duplay. Now, Duplay is designed to respond in a very natural manner and adapt to the responses in real time. The cool thing about Duplay is that it enables the assistant to relieve you of your mundane tasks, like having to make a restaurant reservation or maybe a hair salon appointment. The creepy part is that the other party has absolutely no idea that they are talking to a machine. Google Duplay right now is still very much an early experiment. We're quite excited actually to see how this technology evolves as based on what we've seen. With that said, we've almost come to the end of our list. Number 1. Google is known to have a notoriously geeky sense of humor. So for our number 1, we have a classic example of Google being, well, Google. Do you speak Morse code? Let's see, this doesn't come up very often, so I might be risky.
and if all this talking gets too overwhelming for you okay google keep quiet well you can also tell your assistant to shut up but why be rude for no reason so that concludes my list which one did you all find most interesting or weird leave a comment below to let us know thank you and have a great day i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning